Okay, so this is my blush drawer. I have a really big obsession. I have a really big obsession with blush, so I can't tell you how much of this I'm going to get rid of. And if I don't get rid of anything, then I don't get rid of anything. But I really just kind of want to go through it and then, like, kind of figure out what's in here, pretty much. Just kind of treasure hunt. So, over here is MAC blushes. I have MAC Mineralized Limited Edition. We'll see. So, this is MAC's Blush Baby. I will be keeping this. I really do love this color. Um, I have Max Whole Lot of Love. It is a. I love this color too. Well, let's just put it there. I'm not going to get rid of any of my MAC blushes. So I got. Also, I have Mineralized Blush and Dainty. This one. Um, Plum Foolery. Pincho Peach. And Passionately Tempted. Passionately Tempted it is a very close dupe to um, Prom Princess from the Archie's Girl collection. So close to each other. I mean, you can't. I'll swatch them next to each other. They're really close. Well, now that I see them, this one's a lot more dark. Err. Dark err. <laughs> I guess they're not that same. Not that similar. And then I have a beauty powder in Pearl Blossom. It's pretty, you can use it as a blush, but it's more highlighter-ish. But I put it with, I just put it in this drawer because it fits better. And then I have Feeling Flushed, Love Thing, Misbehave, and I'm a Lover. Those are all the MAC blushes that I have. Love them all, not getting rid of any of them because I use them I use them too much. Um, I have Estee Lauder blush in Radiant Peach. Super, super, super close to um, Orgasm blush. It's super close to that, but it's Estee Lauder and I have a big giant weakness for essay water. It just makes me kind of do some crazy stuff. I have um, Lancome blush in Shimmer Trimmin. Tim. I don't know how to say that last word. <laughs> but it's a really dark, dark blush. I love pretty much every color of blush except for those natural type blushes, I can't, I don't understand those, like, I don't, like, the pretty much ones that look like a blush, a powder or a bronzer. This is Trina Tarantino Curl, Coral Camo. It's a cream blush with, like, this weird shimmer. I feel like you're, you're supposed to wear them together, and they do look pretty together, but if you're not careful, this can kind of go everywhere. But I really do like it, so keep that. I have Trina Tarantino blush in the feather. This is really pretty. I really like this. Okay, and then back here in the very back, I have um, Milani um, powder blush in Tea Rose and Love Potion. Keeping both of those. So far, I haven't gotten rid of anything. Is that kind of? I have Milani baked blush in. Luminoso and um, Fantastical Mauve. I'm going to swatch Fantastical Mauve just because it really is unique and pretty dark. But I really, I, I have, when it comes to blush, I don't have like those things where it's like, I don't feel like, I don't have like a shade that I feel like doesn't flatter me because I feel like I can make anything work. Except for this one. We have a love-hate relationship with this Lorac brush, blush in Hollywood. Um, it's pretty bronzy. And I can make it work. But it's, like, total bronze. I mean, it's really pretty and I love to play with it. But I don't want to... I'm not going to get rid of it, but it's just crazy color. Um, I have Smashbox in... 
Everlasting. I've had this for a long time. It's really close to Feather from Trinity Tarantino. I will get rid of this Smashbox blush. Woo, one down. And then I have these American Beauty blushes. I have one in Dixie Pink and Apple Blossom. <laughs> and then this one is really unique to me. It's a really dark, dark kind of red color. So, get rid of that. Just keep that one. Keep that one. This Ofra thing. Um, I don't really understand the concept of this. It says it's a mosaic powder. Um, let's kind of swirl it together and see what happens. I guess you could use it as a blush or maybe like a powder. Got it in a wantable box. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile because I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure how to do, do it work with that. And then I have both of the e.l.f. Um, blush palettes. Um, and I'm going to keep both of these. Okay. I have a um, Sonia Kashuk blush. It's in the shade Flush. It's, beauti it's the beautifying blush. Oh man. This is crazy. Keeping that, that's unique. This one I really do like. It's super, you don't even need a highlighter with this blush. This is Bare Minerals. Um, it's so pretty. It gives you that so beautiful glow. And this one I got also in a wantable box. It's the Marabella in Glory. It's really, I really do like this blush. When I touch it, it's like a very unique texture. I really like this. And look how cute the packaging is. Um, I'm going to keep all of these um, Mish Cheek from Clinique um, from Clean Kind of Color. Clean Cooler. Okay, and then I have these two from BH Cosmetics. I have Daisy and Iris Blush Duo. Daisy is really nice because it has a blush and a highlighter. But Iris pretty much just two blushes. So, I will keep both of these. Can you see a trend? Pretty much nothing's going. The Maybelline Master Glaze in the color Coral Sheen. Ooh. So, these ones I'm definitely keeping. These are Revlon Golden Affair. Um, I got these offline um, from Buy Me Beauty. They're just so cool. Like... And they're really, really pretty. I have, like, just an obsession with these. The packaging's cool. They look cool. Like, super cool. Keeping both of those. Keeping both of those. This one I really just need to kind of put in my nostalgia bucket because it's super, super old. It's Benefits Georgia. Um, and they, this is, like, so old. Like... I don't even use it because it's sold, but it's, I mean, I used it for a long time and I, it's a pretty big dent in it, but and it still has that same peach smell, like, it's really, and it's so light, like, it's almost kind of like the first kind of ambient lighting powder because I'm going to keep this, but I probably won't use it. It's just very nostalgic to me, like it brings back a lot of memories and kind of makes me a little bit emotional. Don't. I will not get into it. This is broken. You can see it's kind of a little bit off track. This is Bodyography's blush in the shade Oh yeah, stupid. Calypso. Um, I'm going to keep this one because I do use it and I really like the shade. Telling you, there's not very many I'm gonna get rid of. Um, this is Revlon. It's kind of like a glow. It's like a highlighter. I'm gonna keep that one. So this one I think I am gonna get rid of. It's super cute and I like the, but I just you I just have I don't really reach for it. I just like to look at it. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one I actually think 
I'm not going to get rid of because I actually think I might. I thought I had stuff in here, but I don't. Well, because you can pop this out. So the palette's cool. But I don't use this at all. It's just super cool looking. And the shade is not very good. So what I think I might do is just pop this out. I don't know, maybe use it for something. I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out. This is a Maybelline Master Highlight in mauve and I'm going to keep this because OMG this is so beautiful for this time of year so pretty so pretty and then I have pretty pop blush in the color pansy pop I'm going to keep that because OMG how cute these two I feel nothing I feel like nothing is coming off no I don't get any color payoff from them. So I think I'm going to just kind of trash that one. And then... Yeah, I'm just going to throw both of these away because there's like no pigment coming off of either of them. Like nothing. Like watch. Rub, 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 rub. Nothing. Those are garbage. Garbaggio. Then I have more elf blushes. These are the pressed mineral blushes. Especially these two. You know, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this one too, but I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one is in the shade Sweet Retreat. But it's like it's another one of those I don't understand shades because it's like skin tone color. Like it's not even a blush shade. So I'm not I'm not going to mess with that. That's not going to do very much for me. Jordana blushes. What is really pretty? I'm going to keep that one. Touch of pink. Touch of pink. You know what? I'll toss that one too. Not toss it, but I'll, get, I'll pass it on. Ooh, this one. I mean, this one's pretty. I didn't know. I forgot about this one. Keeping that one. This one is rose silk. Then I have um, Dream Bouncies. I think I'm going to throw these away. They feel really weird. Like, they're not that same Dream Bouncy texture. No. Bought hot tamale because everyone was like, "Oh my gosh, it's so bright! I don't know if I can wear it." And then I was like, "I'll do it." You know, I'm just gonna throw these away. This one I'm definitely keeping. I used it the other day, and it made me feel really good inside. So, and this one, this one is. By the way, I got both of these things. This is from Target. This I got. It came with like a set, and then this is just an empty box like I, that I cut. So this one, nah, I have like, this one, it will not let me let it go. Every time I look at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. It's so pretty. I just so love it. I need it. But I really just need to get rid of this. So this one is leaving. It's going to be gone forever. So I have NYX blushes. going to keep both of these. I have the shade Peach and Rose Garden. Give me both of those. Um, my only essence blush in Life's a Cherry. I'm going to keep those. And all of the e.l.f. blushes. So let's go through them. I have Gotta Glow. I'm going to keep Gotta Glow. I'm going to keep this one because, oh my gosh, look at that dent. This one is Tickled Pink. This one is Pink Passion. See if it still has that. Oh, nope, this is Chalky is Chalk. I'll get out. We will toss her. She has to go in the Garbaggio. This is uh, Blushing Rose. Wow. I remember when I first bought this and I thought it was so crazy, like the weirdest color ever. And now I'm like, I love everything, every single blush color imaginable. But it's super. I don't know, I'll probably, I'll probably keep that. 
probably keep that. This one is Future Fusion. Whoa, buddy. Look at that glitter. I'm going to pass this one along. It's too... No. <laughs> I have MAC blushes that are pink like that. Candid Coral. I used to use these all the time. Like These are like my only blushes I ever reach for. I'll keep that one. Man, these have so much glitter in them. Twinkle Pink. I had to revive these a couple times, it seems. last two are Peachy Keen and Very Merry. Peachy Keen was like a cult favorite forever. Everyone's like, oh my gosh. And I, I know why. Because look at this. It's like not even a blush shade. It's like chlorof It's not. I don't understand that. I just don't. I make kind of kick myself. I'm going to keep this one too because um, it's a really good dupe for one of my MAC blushes. But you need dupes. You have to have dupes. Okay. So I have um, Laura Geller blush in Mauve Mocha Latte. And I'm keeping both of my Simpsons blushes. Yes. 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 Keeping these. There's no even question. Um, and then I'm going to move this to right here. This is where I get into my cream blushes. going to keep these, yes, I have another HD blush from e.l.f. I'm going to keep both of these. One of them's over there because I use it sometimes, so. I do use these, so I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to put it over here. Then I'm going to keep both of these because I do use these. Oh, three of these. I forgot three. This one got smashed in the top. Go figure. I actually traveled with that one, actually. This one I haven't, I've tried, and I really do like it because I was really in like a purple kick for a minute. I really do like that. This is Benefit Lolly Tint. I'm going to keep this one too because I really do like this. If you can see, I have used it sometimes. Sometimes. And then this one I'm definitely going to get rid of because I've hit pan on it. I really liked it and I can't seem to find it anymore, but it's not that unique to blushes around the world. So I'm going to actually t throw this away. So many blushes are getting thrown away. How sad. How sad for those blushes. I have Max Cream Blush in something special. I have Revlon Photo Ready Cream Blushes in Flushed Coral Reef. I have a Tarte blush in Doll Face. I have a Stila convertible. And I have used this. You can tell it's got like those kind of gross, but you can see the little stipple marks in Dahlia. And then another one in the shade. Peony. So I have both of those. Keeping those. And I have Essence Love. Oh, this is a second Essence blush. I just really got this. And it's like an ombre. Super cool. Keeping that guy. This, I I have to get rid of because it's so... I Every time I look at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta use that. And I don't. It's like a blush lip kind of a thing. I just don't use it. So, I don't know. This has got to go home. A new home. Okay, so this is what I've set it up like. I've moved this over here and turned these facing that way. And all my MAC blushes are here. And then I have all my cream blushes in here. And then these are like drugstore over here. So I really like this setup. And I, I got rid of quite a bit. I need a bucket of it. So I thought I was going to get rid of not very much. But this is pretty good. 